Last May, the Obama administration announced a new rule requiring every public school in the country to let transgender students use whichever bathroom or locker room match their preferred gender identity. Well, yesterday, the Trump administration retracted that rule, saying that bathroom policies like these are state issues and shouldn't be set by the decrees of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Zach Pacanis is the senior advisor to the DNC and helms their Trump war room. This morning on Twitter, he called President Trump a monster for reverting to the policy in place just one year ago. He joins us now. Zach, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So, I mean, I, you know, I think there are two sides to every debate, including this one. What I, I was so struck by was your tweet, where you, and I'm reading it now. I woke up feeling so sick to my stomach about the Trump White House's attacks on vulnerable LGBT kids. These people are monsters. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, was Obama attacking vulnerable LGBT kids a year ago before putting this policy into place? He spent seven years as president and didn't do this. Was he a monster attacking LGBT kids during that time? Well, I mean, what we know is that he put these, protect he put these protections in place. And let's be clear about what we're actually talking about. This is guidance that was provided to schools that schools wanted and asked for. And it is very, it's for a very specific reason. They wanted to create a safe environment for all the kids in their school, and they wanted to avoid Title IX lawsuits. I mean, that's what's so mind-boggling about uh, what the Trump administration did uh, today. He took away practical guidance to school administrators and principals who were looking to create this, this safe environment and were looking to not get sued for Title IX violations. I mean, those guidelines still exist on the internet, presumably, and they could look them up. It's not like they're disappearing from the English language. And so I still am waiting for the answer to my question, though. It took the Obama people seven years to do this. And that's fine with me, but I'm not the one calling people monsters sure. for pulling them back. So, like, are you giving President Obama a pass for not acting on this soon? I, I'm, I'm giving Obama, uh, uh, President Obama extraordinary praise for taking decisive action to protect these vulnerable kids. Okay. Okay. And, and I am saying that Donald Trump is not only a monster, but he's a coward. We're, ta okay. we're, talking, we're talking about um, somebody who is so emasculated by Vladimir Putin that uh -huh. he has to... Right, I'm going to have to stop you there, because that, that now, now we're getting off in no, a no, no, that, that he has to come back and pick on vulnerable kids. Okay. These kids. Okay. These kids are the most vulnerable children okay. in the country. Slow down, Zach. Let's, let's, get, no, let's no. get to the core of the issue. Absolutely. Mind, look, I get that you're, I'm never going to get you to say that, that Obama should have done That's fine. Let's get, move from the politics to the science, because this policy has sure. implications that go far beyond bathrooms and locker rooms, the core question is what constitutes male and female. And the implication of these guidelines that Obama put in place is that a man is someone who says he's a man and a woman who's, is someone who says she's a woman. You get to decide your gender. You're, there's no biological anchor to sex anymore. It's all determined by the individual. So my obvious question for you is, how do I know if a person's male or female? Is there some other absolute standard that people have to meet to be male or female, other than what they say? One, one's gender identity is, is enough to show what gender they are. And so if you're okay. confused about that, I mean, I leave that, you know, to your level of enlightenment and... and, uh, and no, no, this and is, the, it's, it's not about enlightenment. It's, it, not it, about, it it's not about moral status. This is a real question because there are all kinds of institutions in American life that function on a sex-segregated basis women's college, sports, both professional and amateur, prisons. And so you're telling me that I can play on a woman's sports team when I say I'm a woman. Well, we are, what we are saying is that in this guidance with public schools which we're ta and, and the vulnerable kids that are there, that there are specific guidelines that these teachers and these supervisors and these principals asked for in how to create safe... Okay, but now you're going back spaces. to the first question. You but, just but, said but a that second is, ago but, but that, that, that gender... But that is what we're, that is what we're talking no. about. No, let me take you back three sentences. When you said gender identity is determined by the person who possesses it. That's mm -hmm. almost exactly what you said. Correct. And I'm saying there are massive implications of this that everyone is either too dumb or too embarrassed to explore, but let's do so now. If your sex is what you say it is, then what prevents me from playing on a women's field hockey team? What prevents me from getting convicted of a felony and demanding to go to a women's prison? And it's a real question. It's, it's not a, it's not a real question. Why is it not a real question? It's, it's, it's not a real question because it is it is pretty absurd. And there are no wait, other wait, examples. Wait, because, because why? There, because there are no examples of this. The, 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 what do you mean? There, there, I'm sorry, but there are no examples. This is the same argument about saying that there, uh, this will allow sexual predators to go into, into women's I'm not into making women's that bathroom. argument. Yes, but, yeah, but, you are, but you are making that argument. Okay, what I'm saying is... I just want to know what the standards are. 
I'm not actually making any claims. I'm merely the, asking the, a the, question the, the and I want are, you to answer. Yes, the standard is Is there exact, a scientific exactly standard? Because when you deal with questions of biology, that is a species of science. So what's the scientific standard? I'm a scientist. I want to know if you're a man or a woman. How do I find out? Look, these, these are discussions that, you're, that I, I encourage you to have with someone someone who is transgender and they can come and, and no, talk to you about it. No, I don't need that. To speak to a I can speak to you because you think about the stuff for a living. So it's a very simple question. Yes. I want I, to know I, if you're a man or a woman. I'm a scientist. How do I find out? Your gender identity determines your gender, period. Okay. So should someone who looks like me, I look like a man, you think I was a man, I say I'm a woman, and I demand to play in a women's sports team, I demand to go to a women's college, I demand a small business administration loan for women-owned businesses. That's a real thing. That's a billion-dollar question, for real. Can you, can you turn me down if I say I'm a woman? The question that is on the table right now is about Title IX. Let's not and, be about, and, about, and about guidance. No, but you want to go off on Title the IX applies. It's not a tangent. You, you want, you Title want, IX applies, to, it applies and was created yes. around the question of women's sports. So, as a apparent man, if I say I'm a woman, is that enough? Do I meet the standard? as a woman to play in a women's sports team. This, that this goes right to Title IX. Don't this, dodge the question. I'm not dodging the question. This is something the Supreme Court is be looking at is gonna looking at next, next month. And yes, the answer is absolutely yes. Okay. Gender identity determines one's gender. Let me ask you period. this. Period. And just, this is a ma this is a matter this is a matter of civil rights. Is there science behind this? Because I know that there's, I'm often absolute getting science. Really, absolutely what, what, science can, I want you to name a single scientist, just one, who says you can determine your own sex just by saying so. Can you name one scientist who says that? I, I, I'd be happy to send you many after. A, a when, scientist when who said you can determine your own sex. An actual scientist, like someone is, who went to college. Listen, Are you, 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 you clearly have some issues around this. It's not an which, issue at all. I have questions I like. that you can't answer. And you're instead throwing things like you're not enlightened. I'm asking you a sincere question. What's the science behind this? And you're deflecting. Why? I'm, 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 I'm simply not deflecting. This is, this is, this is, this is a matter of, se this is a matter of settled uh, uh, science. And it is something that... What's the that science, exactly? That you are what you say you are? Could I change my race, too? And, and don't this dodge is, that question. Is, That's a real question. Is, no, no, you cannot, you cannot change your race. Why can't I change my race, but I can change my sex? What's the difference? It is not about changing. It is not about changing. But why isn't it? It's about inherently who people are. Really? And, what if I say I'm inherently of another race? Who are you to say I'm not? I mean, again, you're, you're getting into these silly hypotheses. It's not silly, silly at all. Two it years is, ago, nobody absolutely. thought you could change your own sex. And you're saying it's, that, well, it's one, settled one science. That is, one that is simply not true. We have had transgender protections uh, in, in this country but for But you haven't explained what transgender decades. is. You're just saying it's whatever we say it is. You, look, you want to go into this in this right-wing pseudoscience. It's not right-wing at all. It, it is. It absolutely It absolutely It's pseudoscience, is. right? You name... No, what you, what I will you give are, you $1,000 you if you can find any scientist, like an actual biologist at an accredited American college, willing to come on this show and say, here's the science, here's the state of play of biology 2017, I, I, name your sex I, and that's I, what I it is? You can't. I, I don't understand. You can't. There's no science. why you won't answer the, well, answer the question I'll answer about why. answer any question always. Excellent. Why shouldn't schools who are asking for it get guidance on how to create safe, env safe environments for say, all their kids? I would say why that, that guidance exists. It floats on the internet. And if it's merely guidance, then the federal government needs no more to do with it. They well, can say, well, here's well, our guidance. Well, if, if, You're if, undermining if, if your own simply, argument, if, if, which if was weak simply, to begin with. If, if, it is, <laughs> if, it is, if it is as simple as that, okay. then, why do you, then why do you care so much? Okay. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> but I want you to produce the scientists just one. And let's, let's make it Harvard. And I'll give you a thousand bucks. And I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just asking the question. Anyway, we're out of time. Zach, it was great to see you.